Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. That's right, I am in a hotel room. I am all the way out here in, in Oklahoma City. Yes, on a business trip. And so this is going to be not very good video, not very good audio. But I thought I'd talk about this. Now, this is the biggest news today is that Wonder Woman has been delayed. That's right. Wonder Woman has been delayed till June 5th of 2020. Gal Gadot has uh, tweeted out, super excited to announce that thanks to the changing landscape, we are able to put Wonder Woman back to its rightful home June 5th, 2020, be there or be square. As you once know, uh, I believe Wonder Woman used to be in November of 2019. So now it's bumped into, you know, the year after, which kind of, you know, sucks. But I don't know the reason. I'm not sure what she's saying. Super excited now that for changing landscape, what's changing? What's going on? What what does that mean? Now, a lot of people are saying that because of the different movies that have been delayed in terms like Maybe we're not getting at Superman. Uh, the Batman's still working on a script. Uh, maybe because we have two movies in 2019, which is Shazam and uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, Joker. So we have those two movies. We don't need another one until the year after, in which case it will probably be uh, Wonder Woman and Birds of Prey occupying 2020. And does that mean everything else will be delayed, like the Batman, Suicide Squad 2, and all this kind of... Well, Suicide Squad 2 was supposed to be shooting it, I don't know if it. But it, it keeps changing. But um, so, so that may be the case here, where we're kind of just stretching it out instead of three movies a year, even though Joker is not exactly DCEU. At least we don't think it is. Um, and so we're, we're pushing it out. And so Wonder Woman, even though it has finished shooting... Um, and I think they're finished shooting, but, uh, no, they're not They're They're still shooting, I believe. And, um, this year they can, you know, it should be able to be released in 2019, but they're going to push it a little further for whatever reason. I have no idea. Now, now a lot of people are suggesting some really tinfoil hat stuff. Okay. <laughs> tinfoil hat stuff. I did not pack my tinfoil hat. I'm so sorry. Um, that because they're releasing it later on, um, are they going to put something else in that November 2019 spot? Could it be the Snyder Cut? No. <laughs> I don't think so, but it would be so fun to think of it that way. It would be so fun if that actually happened. Uh, that would be a real wish, uh, dream uh, come true, but I, I doubt that would be the case. But it is fun to think of why other reasons why they're pushing things around. It is a mystery in itself. Um, so, and other people also suggesting that this is... Um, I don't know if you want me to say your name, but uh, it's it's kind of D. Jeff Johnsing it a little bit because they're pushing it back. So they're D. Jeff Johnsing uh, parts of the movies. So it's less of him. Uh, and maybe Walter Hamada is going back to a form before Jeff Johns' involvement. Who knows? That's some other people are saying. I don't know. Um, but it is an interesting move for Warner Brothers uh, DC Films, and uh, it's it's uh, going to be in 2020. So it's going to be like an all-woman superhero extravaganza in 2020. You got Birds of Prey, and you also got Wonder Woman. Um, speaking of you know tinfoil hat stuff, okay, Zack Snyder did post a picture about. Uh, his shirts coming out. These whole bunch of shirts. Damon Caro just sent me this photo. His crew shirts, a good run and more to come. So uh, that person, he was involved in a lot of these movies. Uh, you see movies right there down to, let's see, you got, you know, 300, Suicide, not Suicide, sorry, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, uh, you know, the movies he's done. And so 300, Watchmen. And so, um, uh, you look at that, and and he says a good run, more to come. And so a lot of people are wondering, what is more to come? Where is Justice League? Uh, it's so interesting that he didn't put Justice League in there, wondering if more to come means Justice League or his next feature films. So that's a little bit more tinfoil hat for you. Um, uh, also, a little bit more about One Woman, actually. In regards to the 
theatrical cut of Justice League. He, Jack Zaxner, confirmed in a way that this scene with Wonder Woman with the sh the sh the what would you call that? That cloth thing she has here, and uh, she's talking to Batman, Batman, and her and Batman are drinking. You know, I always thought that was kind of a weird scene. Batman looks kind of. You know, he looked like he was wearing a wig and stuff like that. So he, she, Jacob Torres puts this uh, picture on Vero and, and Zack Snyder just, just says, what is this from? In, implying that he has not shot this. This is not familiar to him. So there you go. Another scene confirmed, even though we knew that that wasn't part of Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League. So another thing to shave off of the theatrical cut to take away uh, another a small percentage of the theatrical cut confirmed not to be part of Zack Snyder's film, even though in the beginning of the movie, as we all know, it says directed by Zack Snyder. So I don't know. I mean, it is interesting to say the least. Uh, and, and we got that 20 movie challenge that's coming down. It's going dwindling down to number one. Uh, I don't think it's going to have Justice League, but it's kind of fun to think of as a countdown to probably maybe something. Who knows? But changing landscape, uh, that is intriguing to me. Uh, I'm wondering if that just means that some movies, other movies are shuffling around, things like that. Um, some people, like I said, are is interpreting as a vision of DCU. They're reorganizing uh, again. Uh, so what is up with that? That is quite intriguing in itself. But that that's, uh, um, it's so many things going on, you know? Uh, so many little bits and pieces of the chess moving around, and we're all in the dark. Like the audience, the, the fans, we're all in the dark. They, Walter Amata, Toby Emmerich are not saying much of anything. They're just waiting for Aquaman to come out and Shazam to come out and uh, just going forward with something that we don't know, we don't recognize uh, right now. And so hopefully we'll find out more by maybe in the next San Diego Comic-Con if there ever is a planning of a real slate or they're just making it up as they go. Who knows? Um, a lot of people are suggesting Zack Snyder's involvement. I hope so. I mean, that would be really quite something if Zack Snyder is a little bit more involved rather just than being a producer, executive producers on some of these movies because he created those characters, uh, in a way created those characters with those actors and actresses. But uh, hopefully uh, we'll get a lot more of what he's actually working on in his house. In his uh, When he's working in his house, he's also working on something else. Hopefully we'll get to see what that is. But in the meantime, we'll just keep an eye out. We keep some ears out. Uh, I'm going to be pretty busy during my business trip. So hopefully I'll be able to make another video of something else happening. But until then, uh, stay sharp. Uh, stay excited and hopefully maybe we'll learn a little bit more of the DC films and what the intentions are, what they intend to do with this universe, and hopefully a little bit more about the Snyder Cut. All right, guys, keep digging. Leak the Snyder Cut.